I'm going to show you how to replace the batteries in your scooter battery pack. So what we have here on the table is a scooter battery pack. This one happens to be from a Drive Medical Scout scooter, but the uh, process is the same regardless of whether you have a Scout or a GoGo or something from Golden Technologies. You're dealing with a plastic box inside of which are two batteries that look like those. They may be a slightly different size or configuration, but the process is basically the same. To do this, you're going to need two tools. Um, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to need a pair of pliers. Um, you won't need the pliers with this kind of a battery pack, but with another style of battery you might. You'll see it when you get into it. So this is a battery pack that we've determined needs a new set of replacement batteries. I'm going to be showing you how to open it, replace the batteries, and then close it back up again. So for starters, we're going to take the battery pack and we're going to turn it upside down. You might find that you want to lay it on a cloth, but you can do this at the kitchen table. And you'll notice that there are eight holes here, 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 and here, in which there are screws. Those are Phillips head screws, and once we take those screws out, the top of the battery box will open up very easily. So I'm just removing the last screw here. I've loosened up all the other ones, and now I'm going to take and I'm going to turn this over. I want to turn it over so that the screws fall on the table rather than on the floor. We're going to lift the top off. And here we see the batteries, and to replace them, we're just going to unplug these connectors, just like this. We're going to lift the battery out. We're going to take this one also. You don't want to mix up your batteries. Make sure you have the new ones separate from the old ones. We're going to take the new ones, put them in there. It might be helpful for you to draw a picture of the wires as you took them off, but it's largely self-explanatory because the wires are pretty short. And you always want to match the colors. So this one is a black terminal. Here's a black wire. Put that on there. Red terminal, red wire. Over here, some batteries will come with little plastic clips that you'll clip covers that you'll take off. Put the red connection here and the black connection here. And that's it for the electrical piece of replacing the batteries. Now, you may have a battery pack that uses taller batteries that have nuts and bolts that connect the wires, but the connection process is the same. You would use your pliers and your screwdriver to take the connectors off. Again, lift the batteries out, put the new ones in place. You just wanna make sure that you don't mix up the wires. So again, a sketch might be handy. So now we're ready to put the top back on the battery case. And I want to show you a little trick. Um, turning the case upside down to put the screws in it will be very difficult because when you turn it upside down, the batteries are going to tend to want to flop out of it. So what I like to do is I like to move the battery case over to the corner of the table put my screw on the uh, screwdriver on the screw put that screw in turn it again take another screw and do that with all four screws and then, when we're all done, we can turn the case over and put the remaining four screws in. We're going to put the last screw in. And by the way, regardless of the style of battery pack, you can just drop that screw right in the hole and pick it up with your screwdriver. You don't want to over tighten these screws. Check the others to make sure they're tight. 
and you've just changed out the batteries in your scooter battery pack. It's ready to go.